I've been reading a couple books and they've been helping me. Oh my gosh, it is pouring out. Hi everyone. Uh, today I really wanted to make a video on different things that I've just been like enjoying this summer. So I wanted to start off with a little bit ugh. A little bit of who I am. I am gonna put on the description below like where these categories are. So maybe if you're looking to see like what my favorite things to read or things to wear on my face that you might be interested in, you can skip to that. Because I know sometimes, you know, you just want to get to the point. I get it. Okay, I want to describe a little bit of who I am, where I live, and how that affects everything that I like. So first things first, I live in Florida. Florida, if you don't know, is probably the hottest place or it feels like the hottest place I mean I haven't been all over the world but it is so hot here I also have a very I sweat a lot and my skin complexion is very oily so I really have to be careful with what I use in my face I kind of wanted to tell you this because it's very important that you use things depending on your skin types so you have to be very cautious about what you put in your skin what you put in your face your hair your mental health everything before further ado so I'm gonna start with things that I've been using to take care of my skin before putting any makeup I really wanted to give this a try. This is um, the Pure Hydration Gel. It's a very good moisturizer. I've had this for two months and it's been really great on me. I use it in the morning and I started using it at night. My skin is very sensitive so I, I'm always switching around different. So I really wanted to make this video because I stuck with these things that I'm about to show you. One tip that I've learned over time, if you have oily skin, the older that you get, the better and the younger you will look because those oils, they do the moisturizer for you. So this is just an addition. It's like drinking water, you know, you have a big percentage of your body is water, but you still have to drink water, you know what I mean? So I hope that makes any sense. I definitely recommend this. And then, of course, when it comes to moisturizer, you have to protect your skin. I haven't tried a lot of sunscreens, but this one is the stick, and it's really tiny, and it fits in my bag. So it's, this is so easy for me to just like... Sorry, my phone. It smells really good. I also have the sunscreen for your body, and this brand just smells amazing. Light condition just kind of changed, but in Florida, it also rains a lot, so... Okay, now I'm just gonna jump into makeup. So, I've been using this for a year and a half, the Tarte Shape Tape. It covers the whole disaster in the morning, or just whenever I don't feel attractive. This is a medium. I'm kind of tan, it's kind of varied. If I stand in the sun too long, I go straight to tan. I don't even go through the process of getting sunburned. I've just always been coming back to this. So I figured, why not tell the whole world? I recently purchased this bad boy, the Too Faced lipstick. It's really cute, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Nips Lip. It's a very like natural nudish color, a little bit on the brownish tone. And I'm also wearing the Glossier. I've had this since December. I got it for Christmas. It's like a cream, like a cream blush. So I really love it because it's very natural and it stays on your face a lot longer than a regular powder blush. It lasts you forever. Next thing for sure is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. This stuff is amazing. This is sort of like a dupe for Kat Von D. I don't know if I said that right. It's literally a dupe. I was using Kat Von D for, I think I bought it like three times. And then I realized my bank account was going I stopped using it. I was uh, doing my research and stuff and I found that this is actually pretty good and it's very similar. So I was like, hello. I've been using this for about a year now, roughly. I'm actually wearing it right now. Man, I'm so good at this. I'm wearing all the makeup that I'm like talking about. All right, but I'm, I'm not wearing this one. I use this almost every single day. It makes me feel like a new woman. My lips naturally are very pale, but I like having something on. Even if I'm just like going to the gym or I'm not wearing any makeup, I technically am still wearing makeup. So I've been using this for a while. Let me tell you, this stuff smells so good. Um, it's the Blackberry Lip Care. And I have like 10 of these because I always lose them. There's one in every part of the house. Because this is the one thing you need in your life. So I've been doing a couple reading here and there and um, it is pouring out. I've been reading the Magnolia book. If you guys 
have watched Fixer Upper, like these are your people. They're very humble, they're Christians, they're obviously married, and they have a bunch of kids, and they live in a farmhouse. Honestly, look up to them and how they live their life. And so I really wanted to like read their life story, how they met, and just everything. So I really wanted to know, get to know them. Initially, that's why I wanted to read it. But then at the end of the day, which I haven't finished, I've been procrastinating. But not because it's not good, but it's real good. It's just like, when I like something, I have to really like dedicate my time and focus. I just love this book, I really recommend it. I didn't buy it because I'm trying to save money, but I did find it in the library. And last but not, what are you leaving? I do a little bit of watercolor and drawing here and there. So I have things that are art related, or actually no two, I take that back. <laughs> With watercolor, I like doing it in random places. It makes it easier for me to carry it or to do it anywhere. This is like the portable brush. You put water on the top and it works perfectly. Like it doesn't leak or anything. This one specifically, this is Pentel. Pentel, however you say, I'm just gonna put it here. Cause, Cause I don't know how to say this word or I just, I've been using this for a couple months and it's just been, it's been working really good. I mean, I'm not great at it, but I try. And then another thing that I've been using along with watercoloring is kind of just like underlining or highlighting, you know, the shape of whatever I do with my watercolor. Um, and I use this almost every single day. It's like my go-to pen. So I've been using this brand, Muji, that I normally get from Amazon. It's a Japanese brand and it's really good. It's very fine. This one specifically, I normally get the regular one. I was just being fancy with this one. But this one's the .38. I carry one in my bag all the time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you in some way or another. I appreciate it. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful day or if your day is coming to an end, I hope you've had a good week or are having a good week. Uh, thank you so much.